So Governor Romney wants to use the Benghazi attack as a backdrop for his major foreign policy speech. And uh, just as uh, President George Bush is second, um, you know, you have to understand exactly what's happening. And it looks as if their mentality is of such that you just scratch them a little bit and they're going to get out, out, you know, up enraged and, and come with a disproportionate response, you know, costing lives and um, billions of trillions of dollars, and then nothing has been accomplished. Um, what I think he needs to find out is, like, who could possibly be behind this attack? And as I said from the start with this uh, spring revolution, there's no revolution. It's just an opportunity to create chaos in the Middle East, drag us in, smash the uh, economy, and everything is over. And he seemed to be vulnerable to this kind of a strategy. And it's alleged that people from the, um, the first revolution uh, that were responsible for the attack who knows? But, um, as I said, Bush went into Afghan and Iraq. And uh, they're hoping that other admi administrations will go into the rest and, and then create some problems. Because, I mean, oh, it, everything almost collapsed. And had we gone into something immediately, or even at this time when the economy has not fully recovered, this is going to spell some serious problems. So, um, the enemy has already seen that. Uh, his vulnerability, and um, he's willing to sacrifice America for some other um, purpose. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm warning, you know, Mr. Romney, Romney, that he may not become president this time. But you look as though you have the attitude which the enemy wants. So maybe, maybe in 16 you'll become president. And be careful now, because all the gains we've made could be evaporated in a short space of time. Um, I know that scripture predicts that, you know, the end is going to be a certain way. And uh, what I'm attempting to do is to, you know, let folks understand what the issue is. And so, uh, you know, make an intelligent decision. And I still believe that uh, we can do other things, but the end will still come. Um, but it won't be as embarrassing. It won't be as uh, traumatic and as hard on America.